So in this case, we are going to be talking about the topics that we are going to be working with in our mathematics uh, for grade eight in this term. Uh, that is for our term two. We need to start to actually prepare uh, for those we have uh, done with their tests. You have uh, written your test. You are done with those tests. You can start to prepare. As you can see, we are not going to have a lot of things, but those topics that we have, they have a lot of things inside that we need to work on. So this is what you're going to have, guys. Let us quickly go through uh, the first part, uh, which is the first uh, topic that we are going to be focusing on will be on our algebraic expressions. All right, so take note, guys, as we have these are the weeks and also the time that you are expected uh, to be taught that topic in within that time and the number of weeks. So we're not going to waste much time. We are going to be focusing on algebraic expressions. Under algebraic expressions, you are expected to know these things, all right, to recognize and identify Conversions for writing algebraic expressions. Identify and classify like and unlike terms in algebraic expressions. To recognize and identify coefficients and exponents in algebraic expressions. So we have talked about that. We have uh, already done those parts of the algebraic expressions so you can go through the introductions on this channel where you see uh, that you need more explanations let us talk about that but uh, we have done all this part so make sure that you expand and simplify algebraic expression make sure that you go through each and every part that you are given to be able to multiply go through this part of adding and subtracting multiply integers and monomials by all these that you're given to divide the following by integers, all right? Make sure that you are able to simplify algebraic expressions involving above operations, whatever that you're given there to divide, multiply. Then to determine the squares, the cubes, the square roots, and the cube roots of single algebraic terms or like algebraic terms. You must be able to determine their squares, the cubes, the square roots, and their cube roots. Uh, the cube roots. So this is what you're going to have to determine the numerical value of algebraic expressions by substitution. So these are the major uh, part that you're going to be working with as you are dealing with what? Algebraic expressions. You can see, guys, uh, there are a lot of subsections under your algebraic expressions. So you need to understand what you are working with. Make sure that you know your algebraic expressions. After that, you must work with your algebraic equations. These are now equations, all right? So on your equations, use substitution in equations to generate tables of ordered pairs. Extend solving equations to include using additive and multiplicative inverses, using laws of exponents. So we see these exponents, guys, we had them on those algebraic expressions. We are having them also on what equations? They are very, very important, your exponents. So make sure that you do understand every part. So this is your algebraic equations. Just like that, you are done with these equations. All right, so we move on to another topic, which will be on the functions and relations. You need to go through this part of your functions and relations to know the input and output values 
you must revise to determine input values, how to determine output, the rules for patterns and relations using what? The flow diagrams, the tables, and the formula. Extend, all right? Determine input values, output values, or rules for patterns and relationships using what? Equations this time. So all this, you must be able to know it, all right? And also the equivalent forms, uh, make sure that you go through uh, this part as you are having your revisions. It is very, very important. Very, very important. All right. So considering this, our last part, our last part of the topics before we co conclude everything, it is on the what? The graphs. All right. We are going to be working on the graphs. So on the graphs, you must be able to be interpreting those graphs. Interpret, analyze, and interpret global graphs of problems, situations, with the, spe uh, with the special focus of the following trends and features. So as you are revising these global graphs, what you need to focus on are the linear and or the, uh, the linear or non-linear there, the constant increasing, decreasing, maximum or minimum, discrete or continuous. You need to be focusing on those terms as much as you can and also to draw a uh, drawing of graphs. We, you are supposed to be able to draw global graphs from given descriptions of a problem situation, identifying features listed above. So when you draw these graphs, you must be able to identify these features that we listed on each and every graph, all right? Uh, use tables and order pairs to plot points and draw graphs on the Cartesian plane. You must be able to use that concept of order pairs uh, to mark the points on the graph and be able to draw the graph that you are given from those points that you are having. So this is the major part of your graphs. So these are the topics that we are going to be focusing on in our term two. Algebraic expressions, algebraic equations, functions, and relationships, graphs. So with this information, you are going to have or to be given time for revision before you write your test. And this test, I want us to be careful, guys. Guys, I want you to be careful. Listen to me. This part, it is not for term two only. It is all term one and term two topics. So you see, term two is a lot. It's not just term two only that you focus with. So those who have been uh, revising and you throw away uh, your stuff for, for term one, you say, ah, this stuff is done. No, you are lying to yourself, guys. Let us bring those books. Let us bring that stuff. We need that information. The test is going to cover all term one and term two topics, all not some, but all of them. All, not some of the topics. All right? So for those who want to see uh, the typical uh, exam questions or the question papers of the June, I have them uh, on this platform. So you can search, uh, you can check them. Uh, you see that they are question papers that we have done for June so that you see how do they ask. The, the, the issue is not for you to target the, the questions to say they will be the same. No. How they ask is going to be the same. How they ask. How they ask the questions. Not to say the questions will be the same, but how they ask these questions is the same. So do revise uh, all these topics. Go through the June examinations. Right? Check how do they ask the questions. 
so that when you are revising in class, you know, okay, this type of a part is going to be asked. This type of a part is going to be asked. So do make sure you have your revisions. All your revisions, they are supposed to be done. Do not throw away your books this holiday. No, 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 no. no. It is not time for that. We have few days, few days for the holiday. It's not just, it's not a holiday, actually. It's just to refresh your mind. But as you are refreshing your mind, please don't throw away your books. Find a time that you just prepare, especially calculations. Mathematics, uh, if you are doing any other subject that has got calculations, all right? Those subjects, never throw them away on holiday. You work them as much as you can. So this is it, guys, our attempt to let us revise all the best in our revisions. Let there be light as we are revising. I hope we are going to do the best uh, and we are going to follow whatever that I was saying so that we will obtain the best marks in our tests, in our examinations. You are going to see that. This is one of the easiest, but if you follow these instructions, you are going to see this. You are going to see this. You are going to totalize these tests. You need to revise. It's easier for you to, to have higher marks, especially on this platform. It is easier for you to have higher marks. We have all that you need. All right? So make sure that you do go through your revisions. So this is it, guys. We shall meet again. Uh, like I said, the topics are already there for term two. But where you see that there is a need for me to add adjustments, let us communicate on the comment section. That is the purpose of the comment section, guys. Let us use it to communicate. Let us talk together.